We select the areas that we go to. We go to the neediest parts of Hamilton and uh, anybody around is just welcome to come to the van. Once we're in their street, everybody's welcome. There you go, sunshine. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. We're just simply here. Um, uh, we're not here to judge, we're not here to select people. Um, we're just here for the community. Just test it to make sure it's not too hot. Hot, hot. hot. Who's next? It helps the budget stretch a bit further. Otherwise, we probably wouldn't have anything. They usually come on Monday and we wouldn't have anything on Monday night. A couple of our people um, heard about what they were doing in Tauranga. Um, they took the idea on board. Uh, they took three or four months to actually develop it here. And with the support of the initial funding, uh, one of which was Catholic Care Foundation, they supplied us three years uh, consecutively of 10,000. To have that kind of um, security was great. Would you like a warm one or a cold one? Sure thing. We consulted a nutritionist and they actually gave us the lowdown on uh, what we should actually take. So wheat meal, bread, egg sandwiches, ham sandwiches, marmite, honey, and the kids love it. The kids even ask us for the uh, recipe for the egg mix. Now, when you think of kids who are sort of, um, you know, living on maybe not the most nutritional food, and we bring this kind of food and, and they actually like it, uh, then we know we're actually starting to make a change. It's good for the kids. They know when the Milo truck comes, they always rely on it, you know. They get all excited when it comes, and um, it's just what kids like. Number two. We'll sprinkle on top, please. Cold? Sprinkles. Well, we started in May of 2008, and in that first year, we did about 9,000 sandwiches in 2008. Last year, 2009, 26,500 sandwiches. I haven't even counted the litres of milk that we've gone through, but that, that has actually grown phenomenally. And um, tripling basically what we started in the first year is pretty much where we're at. Thank you. Good man. The idea came up with the Catholic Bishop of Hamilton. Due to the recession, they decided to have a meeting. I thought of my daughter who had this land here, and I approached her and she said yes. And so we put the machinery into action to start a food outlet for people who are struggling and suffering. Gratefully, uh, the Catholic our foundation gave us two thousand dollars and that was a big help so we thank them very much for that 1616 corn 205 kamo kamo 44 sacks of potatoes 30 cabbages courgettes bok choy and lettuces and pumpkins oh they were scrumptious they sort of vegetables were scrumptious it was just something different i've never tried this potatoes like coming out of this ground I think it's the ground that's doing it. We had three different varieties of potatoes and they were all beautiful, beautiful, blessed by God. Oh, look at this. We gave the produce to Narawahi Food Bank, some visitors for, for Friday meals, men's night shelter, and to the refugees. Anybody who wanted it, we saw it, we knew it was struggling, we gave it to them. And it's the same with any volunteer job, it's very hard to get volunteers, so maybe those who are listening or watching can come and help us when this garden get going. Again, now it's having a rest. It's been sprayed and it'll be turned over and then the lupins put in. And when those lupins come up, they'll be dug back straight into the ground. The ground is good as it is, but we want to make it sweeter. Because you know, things, sweet things get results, and uh, maybe that's why this, this garden gives us so much. Not only that, it's given us so much pleasure. That song is about love. God loves everyone. Thank you very much for listening. 